All right, it is now officially post-game time. So, in the interest of just speeding things up a bit, um, you, once the credits are finished and you reset the game, you end up back inside your room. Professor Elm gives you the uh, SS ticket, so just to save a little bit of time, I went back to the next town over, grabbed Slow King, and just flew over here to get to the docks and um, put him away again, obviously. He said, just because I didn't need to have, you know, that as a thing. I think my cursor was on screen there for a minute. But, yeah. Don't need to waste time seeing like that little bit of traveling stuff. Saves a couple minutes. And, yeah, we have to do the mission where we have to find the guy's granddaughter. Much like uh, the SSN in red and blue. You know, so get your random sort of trainer battle along the way as well. Here we go. Let's just roll through this ship. So yeah, we'll be powering through a Kanto as quickly as possible. I know eventually it's going to come a time I'm going to have to do a fair amount of um, off-screen grinding. Mostly to get rid of, uh, to get ready for... Holy crap, what's this guy doing to me? But yeah, mostly to get ready for red. Alright, that's going to take forever. And, um, with any luck, I think basically Mount Silver will have a decent selection of, um, Pokemon to grind on to speed that process up for me, because, I, as I said last time, he's got Pokemon pretty much all in the level 80s, and the highest one's like the level 88. So... Considering that, you know, they could be anything at all, you know, I'd rather not deal with, um... Guys that are that super annoying at that high level, because, you know, Lance is, um, lick licky licky with its judgment was, I mean, just a ridiculous... Thing to run into, and oh my god. Alright, um, what do we want to do here? I want to arm thrust this guy. And, I don't know, we'll try to. Might hurt Terra a bit here, but we'll see. Critical hit, yeah, I like that. All right, fair. Oh! That's disrespectful, man. Egg bomb. The heck. Well, gee. Oh, thank God. I was worried for just have a second there. It was only going to be three times and just leave him with that little sliver of health. Okay. I didn't realize that, you know, we were already going through this mess. But yeah, I didn't... I'm not, I wasn't worried so much about, um... You know, getting... Well, doing a lot of level up um, prior. Because I didn't want to be super over you know, level for all the guys that I'm dealing with. I mean, Blade 4 was a little bit touch and go times, but that kept things more interesting, I feel. And, um... Alright, revive. Because that Shadow Punch. 
Bad news, man. All right. Yeah, I just don't like to um, completely roll over everyone. All right, we're gonna. Just in case there's any more double battles, I'll just move him over here so he's ready. I, um. Yeah, I think. Yeah, and the Lucky Egg will help with uh, the grinding later on as well. It's, it's kind of fortunate that I was able to get that. I mean, there was no guarantees on that whatsoever. Okay. So I think, much like in my. Um, original gold and run through it. This ship's pretty much going to take a whole video, I'm sure. Yeah. We'll see. Just because, with, yeah, with all the battles, I can't. Oh. Yeah, I probably should say that. I, I remember you do have a bed. I couldn't remember if it was right here or not. And they do have a PC, too, so that's good. Meh. Alright. I should have looked a little bit more before I wasted this stuff on Haunter, but that's okay. See, more of this Lickitung crap. Yeah, I... So, yeah, I did have a bit of a um, uh, layout there. I mean, it was, some of it was kind of expected, like I think I said in the last video. I was going to have um, most of last week where I wasn't really going to be able to do anything with videos. Um, and I was a little bit busy at the beginning of this week, so, but yeah, I don't want to get um, too behind with, um, doing videos again, because that's kind of how things happened last time I had, like, a couple months where I didn't record anything. So, yeah, we're back in the scheme of things, although, in the meantime, did have, um, Cody invite me to, oh, come on. He did have Cody invite me to, uh, the other Discord server that he's been on for a while. It's a nice small server. I think I don't want to say, like, say reluctant or anything, but maybe just maybe apprehensive or something. Maybe about inviting me for a while just because um, I guess conceptually it's kind of more like anime fandom centric. Oh good, I see when. And I don't know, somehow, over time, I've kind of cultivated the, um, the aura of being, like, really anti-anime. I'm not really sure. I don't, I don't think that's really fair. Because I mean, it's not I mean, like I have, like, any special, like, oh, I hate anime for any reason whatsoever. Mostly this is just something I never got um, heavily into just because, you know, most uh, ones I watched, and maybe it just didn't capture my attention. And I could probably point to um, back in high school, a, a friend of mine was, I mean, really big into anime and, oh god, I'm gonna die. Oh, wow. Good, hang on there. But yeah, he was really big in anime, and, like, I mean, he was kind of pushy about, like, trying to get people into it. Like, I remember he gave me, like, a copy of DVD of his, one of his favorites. I think it was Samurai X, something like that. Um, I mean, which... Oh! Things there. I mean, it was a enjoyable show, but like he was basically just saying, "Okay, I had to watch it in like original language," which 
I mean, I get, you know, the big thing with, you know, subs versus dubs and argument and all that thing, and I know, you know, all things considered, you know, original version is better, but I, I do feel like if you're trying to get someone interested in something, I mean, you probably shouldn't be pushing, like, those pure form of it, maybe give it, let them enjoy it in, you know, a form that's a bit more, you know, just sort of easy so you can just, like, appreciate the story of what's going on. Like, I mean, I don't think going into a blind, like, I'm going to care that much about, you know, changes that they made for, you know, when they dubbed the show. So, like I said, in... I think there were other ones as well. And it was kind of the same story, so it was like... I don't know, like, a part of my mind was like always just kind of like pushing against this. I'm like, you know, I can't really get to enjoy this, you know, organically. So I just kind of, you know, end up staying away from it. But yeah, there, there's really nothing specifically to do with anime that I have any, um, you know, just, you know, hard fast dislike against. Like, I, I have, I'm kind of weird about anything to do with anime shows, like, even, like, Western anime shows. I, I have, I, I have a weird thing where, like, I always like, like, older animation styles that were kind of, like, rougher. You know, there's a lot of shows around now, you know, everything's, like, animated with um, computers and stuff, and, I mean, well, technically, everything looks great. You know, it, part of it kind of always looks a little bit too, I don't know, I guess, clean, or just sort of like a naturally neat. I, sometimes it kind of loses, I think, a little bit of charm. And, oh, Omega 3, cool. <laughs> but yeah, and, and this is and another problem I have, which is really more to do with, like, American kind of animation, is that, like, a lot of shows, I feel, sort of have this, um, this kind of, like, weird obsession with making their characters look, I guess I could say, like, really kind of, like, weird or ugly, or, I mean, not like, oh, everyone's got to be, like, fan service looking, but, like, like, everything has to be, like, a weird, bizarre, like, quirky, unique art style or something. I mean, there's so many of them, it's like, it's just almost impossible for me to really, you know, concentrate on the show just because, like, I hate looking at the characters. So there's, like, so many shows that maybe they're good, but I'll just, you know, instinctively stay away from just because I just can't stand the way they look. Every once in a while, I'll break through because... You know, the recommendations of a friend sometimes could be, um, wow, that hurt a lot. Yeah, the recommendations of a friend could be worth a lot in terms of, you know, I could say, like, Bojack Horseman was one, a show that I was probably going to stay away from. I mean, I just, you know, I saw it and, like, I looked at it and, like, I don't know. It was another thing, you know, with the way characters looked. I, I was like, I don't know. But, you know, friend, I had a friend, a couple of friends that, like, really liked it, and I was like, well, you know what, I have Netflix anyway. You know, maybe I'll, I can just, like, watch an episode or two, you know, if I don't like it, then I don't have to keep up with watching. Nothing, there's nothing that says, you know, I can't just, um, leave it there. Um... Yeah, just in case, because I know something crappy is going to happen there. And, you know, with that show, like, with Bojack, I, like, I don't know. It just really clicked for me, and I took up and enjoyed it. So, there's probably some... Oh, yeah, I'm glad I did that. But, yeah, there's probably some shows that probably similar. Like, I kind of just dismissed them out of hand. And, you know, it's a case where I probably maybe would like them, but sometimes, you, I don't know, you just need that sort of, like, a push from a friend. I, I mean, it's not just that thing. Like, the movies as well. Like, some things I, like, like, 
like game wise like that, I can I can really point to um, uh, Mass Effect like as a game I probably never would have gotten around to playing or even really thought about much playing um, if a friend of mine hadn't played it and you know um, loaded to another friend, so I was thinking he had loaned it to another friend, and then you know he was giving it back to him the one time, and I was talking about enjoying it. And I'm like, and they were talking about it a bunch. Okay, there's nothing really going on over here. Yeah, they're talking about it a bunch, and I was like, he's giving it back. I'm like, so what, what's this all about anyway? Oh, okay. Yeah, so and then I got to borrow it, and then I. Played it, I'm like, wow, this is really, I mean, this is really great. All right, since I have to come back up here anyway, just take a second. And yeah, I'm like, wow, I probably played, ended up playing the series like more than either one of those two. I mean, the, I mean, they like that a lot as well, but you know. Okay, yeah, that's now we got to talk to this guy again. Uh huh. Yeah, that's a lot of things too. Like in the like other movies, like the original Saw movie. Um, I think, yeah, you know, I came up to theaters and like, it, it was just one of those things that sort of like came and went. Um, like I didn't live near a theater at the time when that came out, so it's like I had to get a chance to watch in theaters, and I kind of forgot about it. Then a friend of mine was like, "Oh, have you seen this movie yet?" I'm like, "No, I haven't seen it yet." He, he had it on on DVD or whatever. So I finally get to watch them, I'm like, oh, this is great. And of course, then my enjoyment of the franchise I ended up outliving his. So I think he kind of um, stopped watching somewhere around like the third or fourth movie. And, um, you know, I'm like, yeah, okay, it's nothing great, but it's like, yeah, keep giving me more. And like, I'm waiting for the. You know, the next one to come out got delayed, so not to be until next year again. But yeah, give me more, you know. But anyway, so, circle back around, so. You learned this is court service. It'll be a thing where, yeah, if they're, I mean, if things go off on, um, some, like, anime references, I probably won't get all of them, like, but it's like a lot, of, it's like anything, you know. There's always gonna be some of those kind of, like, um, Maybe in jokes or references for if it's a show I can watch, it doesn't have to be anime. You know, if I haven't watched, hey, I'm out of the loop. It's not the first time, won't be the last time. Hey, gravity, that's cool. But yeah. So that's kind of what's been um, up recently. You know. But yeah, I, but I always think it's good, though. Maybe it, it's always been like a good um, sort of avenue for, you know, possibly broadening horizons and that kind of thing. And like I said, you know, you know, just been on it for on the server for a couple days. It's already seems like a pretty nice, chill place. Always a positive. Then you know. For me personally, hey, it's not a huge server, so I can, uh, you know, feel like, oh, this thing's gonna get lost in shovel. Because I've had a few Discord servers where it's like, you know, oh, hey, you know, this thing started all right, but then, you know, there are maybe natural course, some things um, end up getting kind of like larger community wise. You know, I'm not gonna say, hey, you know, don't expand just for my sake. But yeah, sometimes I mean, after a while, you kind of feel like the the uh, the closeness of the community kind of gets lost a little bit because there's so many different random people around. And that, that's just something I personally prefer. Like that was with like A or C forever. Like I always really liked that it was a smaller community. Cause like yeah, everyone was basically on like everyone's on first name basis with each other, and you know we, we even had a few different times like where we had like 
in-person meetings because a bunch of the major members actually lived in Pennsylvania. And, I mean, not within, like, right down the street driving distance necessarily, but, you know, close enough that, you know, doing the meeting wasn't really that um, difficult to accomplish. Okay, nothing else. Yeah, nothing else really going on here, so this should be the captain's quarters. Oh, come on, D-pad, stop it. Oh no, I forgot you have to do this stupid stuff. Well, I guess it's better than having to deal with a seasick captain in the red and blue. Alright, I think I know... We're bound, so you have to, we have to go over here now, I think, because... Yeah, this was a spot where... There's nothing before, so hey, it's conspicuous! <laughs> Metal coat! Alright, and I think that more or less um, does it. I'll just, just in case, I'm gonna make use of this healing spot. Just because it only takes a second. And, you know, we're only gonna, like, well, just a little over 21 minutes, so. Might be able to sneak in a little bit more um, fun here. And unfortunately, no uh, path to the hidden truck anymore. Haha, <laughs> so disappointing. I oh, yeah. Suicune, alright. Oh, this guy again. That was so close. I thought I could corner it by pushing it here. But running on the wall is beyond me. Still, I'm starting to sense a pattern. So we can procure water. That means... Sorry, mate, I've got to go! Uh, and it's been so long since I've done the zombie mask voice regularly. I think it's all really awful now. Yeah, I think that's one thing here that, that really got a, a strong improvement. With, um... The Gen 4 remakes as opposed to the original Gen 2 version is like in Gen 2, the um, Kanto gym leaders were really not really any higher level than like any of the lead four. So, I mean, that was really kind of easy. Oh, okay. Well, I'd say the Kabutops made a little bit of sense, but this is a. Uh, uh, a little less logical. Oh, I can't escape because it's fast. I know that. No. Oh, why extreme speed? You jerk. Thank you. Yeah, I want, let's see if we can do surge just because this gym sucks. Yeah. I think that's right, because I think, like, Kanto version, I think the traps aren't working or whatever. If I remember right, I'd have to go back and watch it, because it's been so long since I, uh, played the original version. I can't really remember. Alright, what do we want to do? I don't know. Mock Punch? What's that nonsense? Yeah, level 43. This could be a case where... Um... Oh, that's... That's kind of dumb. Yeah, a little bit of extra grinding maybe wouldn't go wrong, but... Like I said, we made it through... The Elite Four, we can make it through this as well. Alright, so that... We'll do it for Terra.
<laughs> I got you there, huh? Um. Yeah. You've got some uh, moves for taking out this stuff. All right. Let's see. Blast burn. Wow. That's kind of funny, really. Ugh. Fighting fire with fire. Hey, how do you like that? Uh, let's see what Bug Buzz does here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Luckily, we had that burn there. I was like, oh, come on, don't... Yeah, don't uh, do me like that. Hmm. More or less equal, I guess. Goodbye for the special defense, huh? Ow. That's mean. All right. It's like, man, I, I thought, you know, doing this gym wouldn't be too, too bad, but hey. Thanks, Doctor. Uh, that's why we got our items. Well, yeah, because we probably will need you again anyway once we get to Surge. Okay. Yeah, it'd be really, it'd be really great to get a little bit more of this done. Because, yeah, I don't want to spend forever in a day on um, doing just these gym battles, because like I said, we got, there's going to be a lot of grinding I'm going to have to probably do to get ready for red. So I was like, leader Jasmine. <laughs> Wrong gym. Yeah, so, so that'll probably be a case where I'm just like, I'm going to be so ready to... Um, just uh, move on to the next game because yeah, grinding is like the one aspect I can always just do without. I've probably mentioned that about a billion times, but yeah. And I don't want to totally Pokemon myself out um, because the new Sword and Shield DLC is released and um, part of me really just kind of wants to start my sword file over from scratch and you know just like you know get get a fresh look at the whole game because it's it's been a little while since i've picked up i really haven't touched it much since um the uh the, the previous uh dlc was released i i did that bit but i didn't um do much beyond that oh god there always has to be one <laughs> Oh, I hate you so much. But yeah, since it's been so long, I you know I would just kind of like to do the the story again, and um, you know, just like really have a chance to get into everything. All right, cool. I'd say yeah, they'll let me finish up before you can moonlight again.
Okay, so make it rain. But yeah, I guess that's the danger when you have like so many options to choose from, man. Is that you just like constantly find yourself jumping backwards and forwards between different games. Sometimes you don't always get the chance to really invest in them like sometimes like you used to. Well, it's with the Avengers game that came out, you know, a couple months ago. You know, I was having a lot of fun playing it and stuff. And, you know, doing some, and doing co-op with friends and what have you, but, like, I haven't touched it as much, um, for probably a few weeks. Um, just because, yeah, it's one of those things, like, yeah, anything with, um, grinding sometimes, I'm just kind of like, eh. I can, I'll, I just keep putting it off, eh, do it later, do it later, do it later. Alright. Finish all this stupid trainers here, and then I can possibly do some uh, fun with the trash cans. Oh lord, what do we want to do? You know what, I don't got time for this. Yeah. Just go with something I know has a four times effectiveness. Always have your ace in the hole ready. And, you know, another thing I really would really like to be able to do um, is kind of play like the Don Hack series. Like I, cause I got the like last recode thing. I know I've said this for a few times, I'm sure. But I got that, but yeah, like watching Cody doing, oh good, here we're doing this. Oh no. But yeah, watching Cody do his run through of one of the other games in the series. Yeah. Of course. Kind of makes me feel like, I mean, I want to dick into that because it kind of going back to what I was saying um, earlier where it's like, you know, something that probably wouldn't uh, have ever, like, picked up for myself, but, you know, when you have a good recommendation of a friend, you get to try things that um, you never thought you would, and then find yourself enjoying it. Um, and I know with that, you know, I mean, it's not like anything I'm, like, super great at, but hey, it's a totally different game, so it's always, anything that's always like a fresh new thing to do is always fun. Eh, whatever. I gotta heal again because of you. Cop mark, yes! Our obligatory mark. Alright. Revive! Thank you to... Medicine and shout outs to... Physical moves like totally wrecking my life. So all we make money for in these battles is to... Um, do... Oh good, here we go. Uh, nope, nothing but trash here. Story of my life. Mm-hmm. Oh, good. Yeah! I mean, yeah, it took us searching every trash can, but... <laughs> We got it! Alright, what do you got, Surge? Kim. Ah, uh, Krabby. 
51? Oh crap! <laughs> I think I'm in trouble. <laughs> Yeah, there might be a cause for some uh, little extra grinding now. I'm not sure. Oh, meteor mash! I forgot. I remember that these guys were more powerful, but holy crap! Oh. oh. This is not going to be good. I could be in trouble. This could be a thing where I'm going to have to come back again. I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm in trouble. Oh, boy. This is what happens when it's been a while. Hey, burn. <laughs> yeah, you do that. That makes me feel better. Uh-huh. Burn, baby, burn! Oh, boy. Ember. <laughs> of course. Why not, right? Yes! Full restore, thank you. Ruining my life. <laughs> Uh, you effing suck. Yeah. Once again, hey, how'd you know? Artificial intelligence, eh? Uh, Yeah, how do you have that? Oh, this sucks. Luckily, the Dragon Breath isn't super powerful for him. Ugh. Yeah, well. Uh, groan, mumble, complain. Hit mold off, huh? Let's go with our heavy hitters. Now this guy is a little less um, powerful. Jeez, where do these people get in this crap? Yeah, I think I'm definitely going to um, level up some of these guys before I start the next segment. Just a good couple. I probably want to get them to, like, at least in the mid-40s or so. Sure. I mean, I probably could have done Waterfall, too, but, you know... Oh, well, naturally. <laughs> Little did you know. Well, we'll get to test that theory. This waterfall should kill him, actually. With the higher attack stat. Oh. Oh, that's because the sunlight. I'm, I'm so stupid sometimes. Well, either way. 
I get so confident, I forgot. Oh, yeah, he's used the uh, weather effect. Durr. Oh, well. All right, well, I think we will be fine, because this one last Pokemon shouldn't, um... Shouldn't do too well against... Uh, Basically a whole team. Yeah, there we go. Thank you, sunny day. All right. A little bit tough, but yeah, like I said, I might need to play a little bit of catch up here. So I'll just have to remember to do that for next time. TM34. Shockwave. But actually... It's Heal Bell. All right. Well, I got another kind of longer segment again, but we actually got a good amount of stuff accomplished there. So, yeah, I'll head on over to the Pokemon Center, maybe. And, like I said, I'm gonna take care of, like, a little bit of grinding before the, uh, before I do the next video. Alright, where's the, which building's the dang Pokemon Center again? Oh, yeah, it's up here. Hello. We have one candle gym down, seven more to go. Plus, uh, a few other small matters. Yeah, but shouldn't take uh, anywhere near as many videos as the Johto sections did. But I said that'll all be next time. So, yep, yeah, until then, I will catch you all later. Bye bye.